you guys know I'm not a financial advisor, but take a look here. Okay, now this is the kind of stuff that they try to sneak in um, first thing in the morning or just at weird times. I didn't even get down to these. Okay, I just read the first one. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this. So action, it's the final rule. That, that means like 100% they made their mind up. Okay, um, what this is going to do is this is going to um, go ahead and, and control the, uh, the swaps that they do. Okay, so just read this real quick, okay? <clears throat> so they're adopting an amendments to the record-keeping rules applicable to broker-dealers, security-based swap dealers, and major security-based swap participants. The amendments uh, modify requirements regarding the maintenance and preservation of electronic records, the use of a um, third-party record-keeping service to hold records and prompt the production of records, um, the commission is also designating a broker dealer examining authority uh, as far or excuse me as commission uh, designees for purposes of certain provisions of the broker dealer record maintenance and provision rule. Now the effective date isn't until January 3rd and the compliance date isn't until May 3rd which then you're talking if, if we're you know thinking about swaps we're talking like witching days um it would be the third friday of june if i'm not mistaken uh yeah march june um august uh, december so it should be it should be the uh the third uh what's it called it should be the third uh, uh, what's it called uh, third Friday and then T plus two off that 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 would then like we, we would then technically see whatever the heck this has in store for us um, come to fruition even though the effective date is listed as June 3rd um, they have all the way until May 3rd but by May 3rd the swaps are going to be so far hidden that, like, you know, we're not going to be able to see anything. Um, we're just going to be able to see the side effects, you know, come the following, the witching day, in theory. Um, but if you read this, okay, it comes down, it, it talks about the, um, the audit trail. Guys, this is why it's important to, like, to check the like the, the federal register to check the the SEC uh, press releases, um, I try to check them at least every day. Um, sometimes it's every other day. Today was you know like an every other day type of situation. I forgot to yesterday, um, and this is what I came across. So it just I, like I didn't even get into like the to the thick of it, but that's a big deal. Um, I'm going to upload another video if if something else I come across is striking. But now we're going to have, you know, a third-party auditor for swaps. Um, I know it's, you know, months and months and months away, but it's something, right? Um, I think it's just something that, you know, people that are, are heavy trading, they should be aware of this kind of stuff, that's all. But, um, hey, um, I'm already live. Usually I go live at 8-ish, you know, but really it's whenever I wake up, whenever I get myself together. Come hang out. Um, just come hang out, see what's up. Uh, we could talk stocks. We could talk, you know, if, if you're interested in something, we could, like, you know, do some DD. Um, but, yeah, see what the Mafia is about, and we'll go from there. Later, fam.